The East Siberian Laika or Vostochno Siberskaya Laika is a Russian breed of dog of spitz type, a hunting dog originating in parts of Siberia east of the Yenisei River. Also used as a sled dog. The largest of the hunting huskies. According to a 2011 geneticist study, the East Siberian Laika and Basenji dogs from Congo and Sudan belong to the Y chromosomal haplogroup HG9. The East Siberian Laika is the owner of an outstanding instinct, a natural born hunter, capable of obtaining forest trophies even without preliminary training. Balanced and peaceful, Easterners do not create problems in everyday life and do not harass the owner with momentary whims. The only place where the dog is not averse to steer is forest lands, where the East Siberian Laika is used to feeling one step ahead of the owner. However, the breed has every reason for this, in hunting for fur-bearing animals and elk, the East Siberian Huskies are out of competition. Highlights The East Siberian Laika is the slowest maturing of all Laika. Animals reach full physical maturity by 2.5 to 3 years. The defining characteristic of the breed is the absence of malice towards humans under any circumstances. In the central part of Russia, the East Siberian Laika is not as popular as their relatives, the West Siberian Laika, therefore it is not so easy to find a nursery, where breeding is carried out in accordance with the established standards. The breed needs long-term walking and systematic hunting trips, therefore it is unacceptable to take its representative into the house simply because I wanted a cute husky. The behavior and obedience of the East Siberian Husky can be controlled only by those who lead the dog to hunt and feed. The husky does not perceive the authority of the rest of the family members, although it is friendly to all the people it knows. In everyday life, Easterners are unpretentious. They do not need the services of a groomer, they willingly eat any food offered by the owner, and without any risk to their health they live in an aviary and a kennel in winter. Origin Story The East Siberian Laika has an ancient, fascinating history that goes back several thousand years. The ancestors of these dogs lived in Siberia and the Urals. The peoples who inhabited these lands used them as workers and hunting dogs. Breeding was based on needs, somewhere they needed drafter sled dogs, and somewhere hunters for wood grouses and fur-bearing animals. Folk selection has led to the formation of breed groups. By the end of the 19th century, there were about 10 of them. Hunters stopped interbreeding outside the group to prevent the degeneration of instincts. The first exhibition took place in 1874. The East Siberian Laika, one of the few, has received official status. Even hunting dogs are considered her ancestors. Probably, the Tungus blood also flows in her veins. In 1949, an interim standard for four varieties of Lycas was published. Active breeding work began in the 60s. Leningrad and Irkutsk became its centers. Leningraders are distinguished by their lean build, and Irkutsk residents are distinguished by impressive growth and massive jaws. The current breed standard was established in 1980. Despite this, likes to this day are main little researched. There are many unrecognized groups, the boundaries between the breeds remain blurred. The breed standard is the East Siberian Laika. Initially, individuals with a strong type of constitution were considered exemplary. However, modern rules are more loyal in relation to animals with lean muscles. Nevertheless, it is inadmissible to compare two dogs in the ring in polar types of condition. Sexual dimorphism is also inherent in Easterners, the growth of a thoroughbred dog should be at least 55 and no more than 64 cm, females, from 51 to 60 cm. For workers of the East Siberian Laika, the body stretch index is important. In males, it ranges from 104 to 109, in bitches, within 107 to 112. It is not difficult to determine visually which dog is more suitable for hunting activities. To do this, it is enough to compare the height of the animal at the withers with the length of the body. If the second value is greater than the first, this is a good sign. Husks with a stretched body, sufficient height and a strong constitution are more hardy and work easier in snowdrifts. At the same time, too large, as well as too low individuals are considered an unenviable acquisition. The former are more difficult to climb and acquire a loose constitution with age, the latter quickly get tired and do not work well on heavy snow. Head. When viewed from above, the skull has a wedge-shaped outline resembling an equilateral triangle. The superciliary arches of the breed are not expressed, the stop is smooth, the forehead is almost flat. In puppies, there may be a bulge in the frontal area, which levels off by 3 to 4 years. As they grow older, the head of the East Siberian Laika expands in breadth due to the increase in muscle mass. The muzzle of the dog is rough, normally filled in the area under the eyes, of the bar type. There are no signs of damp lips. Jaws. The jaws are massive and wide with tightly fitting incisors. The bite of the wolf type premolars, that is, open. The grip of the jaws is deep and strong. Eyes. 
Distinctive features of the eyes of the East Siberian Lyca are an oblique section of the eyelids, an almond-shaped shape, a moderate fit, the eyeballs are not protruding, but they are not sunk deep into the sockets. The iris is brown or dark brown, regardless of the suit. Ears. The shape of the ear of the East Siberian Lyca resembles an isosceles triangle with a pointed, or slightly rounded apex, ear tip. Set almost at eye level, in addition, a slight camera is noticeable when the back edges of the ears are not parallel to each other. Housing. The East Siberian Lyca is a strong and moderately pumped up pet. The characteristic stretch of the silhouette is provided by a straight wide back. In this case, the lumbar region should not be excessively long. The croup is wide, moderately sloping in the rear. The bottom is tucked up with a slightly pronounced transition from the sternum to the abdomen. Tail. Crescent or rolled into a ring shaped structure. In the straightened form, the tip is at the level of the hock joints or 1 to 2 centimeters shorter. Will. The straight spine is characterized by a rigid, rough structure. The undercoat is silky, but dense, serving as a natural sweatshirt. On the ears and head, the coat is short and close. On the neck and shoulders, the hair grows more abundantly, turning into a rich collar. At the withers, the dog's hair is also relatively long. Color. The traditional colors of the Eastern European Huskies are solid black, black and peebled, red, gray and brown in all shades. Black and tan color is also considered valuable, especially if it is a caramel variety, light tan spots on black. Combinations of the above suits with white are also allowed. The nature of the East Siberian Husky. A purebred oriental in everyday life is a benevolent and peaceful creature. The tendency to unmotivated aggression is not typical for the breed, but only if we are talking about a person and fellow tribesmen. Small domestic animals for the East Siberian Lycus still remain an object of hunting lust, which must, if not be caught, then at least slightly driven. By the way, one should not expect any servility from the East Siberian Huskies, it will not work to educate this quality in a pet with all the efforts. A true Husky fisherman listens only to the instructions of the owner and on the hunt perfectly executes the command only when it does not contradict its own opinion. At the same time, the dog does not refuse to recognize the authority of the owner hunter, but perceives the rest of the family members as equals and even as creatures of a lower order when it comes to children. In practice, it looks like this, the East Siberian Lyca willingly fools around and plays with the household as much as it wants, but periodically turns on misunderstanding when something is not required of the owner himself. The East Siberian Lyca is not the most qualified guard, although her distant ancestors were introduced to guard activities. On its territory, the animal relaxes and does not try to control the situation. In the case of a clear violation of the boundaries, the dog will, of course, show its displeasure. But usually it does not go further than a threatening grunt and a raised hair on the withers. The rest of the East Siberian Huskies are considered mild, albeit slightly touchy pets, which should not be too pressured. Hunting with the East Siberian Lyca. Unlike West Siberian Huskies, Easterners are not so popular among hunters of the Central Lane. The reason for the small prevalence of the breed is partly in the fact that its representatives have less passion for work than their relatives in the section. At the same time, the East Siberian Lyca is distinguished by a wide range of search, high fragility and excellent viscosity. A valuable quality of the East Siberian Huskies is their ability to quickly adapt to changing realities. In fact, the animal is able to hunt in any climatic zone, from the taiga wilds to the forest steppe. Like most Huskies, the East Siberian Lyca are considered versatile hunters. However, the breed works best with elk, bear, wild boar and small mucilids. The hunting technique of a dog consists in tracking the animal by smell, barking at it, and arresting it until the owner arrives. The correct orientalist follows the trail in silence and gives voice only when the game is in sight. Another feature of the breed is the search at a trot, turning into a canter, and, less often, into a walk. In field trials, the talents of commercial East Siberian Huskies are evaluated according to the following indicators, flair, speed and correctness of the search, vote, the nature of barking, no hysterical yelling, running around and throwing at the tree where the squirrel is sitting, surveillance and viscosity, persistence in the search and arrest of the beast, obedience, attitude towards the killed prey, it is allowed to slightly bite the shot squirrel, but not to tear. Each husky has its own hunting preferences. Accordingly, when acquiring an East Siberian Lyca, calmly accept the fact that the degree of enthusiasm for the process of capturing trophies in different conditions will be different. For example, some dogs like hardcore bear prey, others prefer to walk moose. In addition, having tried to work on a large scale, the East Siberian Huskies lose interest in small fur-bearing animals and do not show much zeal in the hunt for squirrels. 
Among the hunters, it is considered undesirable to introduce the East Siberian Laika to hunting a hare. Carried away by the pursuit of the oblique, the dog moves away from the owner too quickly and does not hear the commands. As a result, the hunter does not have the opportunity to catch up with the pet, and the provoked dog independently deals with the prey, which is in principle unacceptable. For the same reason, it is not recommended to allow East Siberian Huskies to walk uncontrollably through the forest in summer. In such unauthorized trips, the dog learns to hunt, strangle and eat light game like young moose calves and hares, and then on seasonal hunting no longer adheres to the rules, spoiling the catch with its teeth. Education, Training. It is not customary to go through OKD with the East Siberian Laika, but you will have to master the basic techniques of controlling a pet. Despite the fact that in terms of habits, huskies are close to their wild ancestor, the wolf, it is still important to correct their actions. The first command in the life of an East Siberian Laika puppy is to me. It is obliged to introduce it into everyday life by the breeder himself or the owner of the nursery when it comes time to feed the newborn offspring. In the future, this will facilitate the training process for the buyer. As the baby grows up, the traditional beckoning can be replaced with an approach by the owner's whistle. For a timely response to a call, be it a voice command or a whistle, the pet should be encouraged. Remember that among hunters, individuals are valued who do not lose contact with humans in the hunt, as well as who come on demand. The second basic command is no. Without her, it will be impossible to control the temperament of the four-legged hunter on the hunt. Throw. Commands and place, the puppy should understand at three months of age. Collar and leash training also begins at three months. At five to six months, the East Siberian Husky begins to train on the squirrel. Moreover, if there is an adult experienced husky at home, it is advisable to also involve it in the case. In the process, the puppy will adopt the habits of an older tribesman and will quickly learn how to hunt correctly. From the very first lessons, it is necessary to eradicate the traditional mistakes of a young individual. A professionally trained East Siberian Laika should not rush into trees and gnaw on the branches where the squirrel sits. It is also impossible to allow empty barking and tormenting of the winded animal. A disciplined dog should calmly sniff dead prey, sometimes bite slightly, but not try to tear or eat it. Sable hunting, which is often practiced with East Siberian Huskies, is considered a transition to a higher level, since, unlike squirrels, this fur-bearing animal escapes the pursuit more masterly. It is better to train an oriental sable on the first snow, when the tracks are clearly visible. The optimal age for this activity is the same as when working with squirrels, that is, five to six months. It is worth trying to go on a moose with a husky when the pet is one year old and preferably two. The optimal month for the first training is September, when wild artiodactyls start rutting and when it is allowed to shoot males. The mining is usually done in two ways. The first is the long-term pursuit of the animal by the husky at a distance of at least 15 meters without sharp attacks. The second is a gambling race, furious barking and active attempts to grab prey by the face and neck. In both cases, barking should be done from the head of the potential victim. If the Easterner gives a voice, keeping away from the elk, and at the first turn of the elk runs away, this means that the dog is either very young and has not yet developed the correct technique or simply does not have the ability to work with large prey. A husky is considered a good moose calf, capable of following a cloven-hoofed animal for at least five hours and doing several sweeps, stopping the elk and barking from its head. The status of a pro is assigned to single individuals who are ready to go after the elk and set sweeps until the next morning. Important, it is better to go for squirrels, sables and muskrats with one husky, since the presence of a partner will distract the animal from the process. At the same time, it is recommended to hunt moose, wild boar and bear with a couple of orientalists. Maintenance and care. The East Siberian Laika is a dog with strong immunity and genetically hard and hardening, therefore, experts recommend not taking even newborn puppies with their parent in a warm place, but keeping them in an unheated room. You can often hear stories about how easily Easterners adapt to life in an apartment. At the same time, keeping the breed in greenhouse conditions is not approved by the breeders, and the animal itself does not benefit. A healthy working dog is able to live in the yard, where a solid enclosure with a warm booth should be built for it, which is best placed on the sunny side. The content of a husky on a chain is permissible as a temporary phenomenon until the aviary is equipped. Moreover, the chain should be fixed on a movable block, which will allow the animal to move freely around the yard. It is necessary to take the puppy for a walk in crowded places after vaccination against distemper and enteritis. Before receiving vaccinations, it is also necessary to take out the baby to breathe, but in such locations where contact with other dogs and people will be excluded. It is best to walk with the ward in the forest and meadows, which is a preparation for the future hunt. 
The duration of the walks should be at least two hours a day, because the longer the puppy is in the sun, the less likely he is to get rickets. East Siberian Huskies are unpretentious pets that do not need food variety. Along with meat, they can be given cheaper products, see fish, from which large bones are extracted, you can turn it through a meat grinder, cereals, offal, rye bread, yogurt, chicken eggs, vegetables, except legumes, fruits, young greens. Some owners teach pets to find edible fruits and eat them from the bush. In the future, if the dog gets lost on the hunt, it will be able to feed on its own for several days. The essential foods in the diet of East Siberian Lyca puppies are cottage cheese and cartilaginous tissues, without which the formation of a strong skeleton is impossible. The first complementary food in the life of an Orientalist is liquid porridge with milk, semolina, mashed oatmeal. It is better to give them to monthly puppies. Six months old adolescents are allowed to enter cereals from whole cereals, rice, oatmeal, pearl barley into the menu. They are cooked in meat and bone broth with the addition of a small amount of salt, unrefined vegetable oil or fish oil, as well as vegetables, cabbage, carrots, pumpkin, zucchini. It is also useful to feed the growing East Siberian lyca with sprouted oats and wheat. Unsalted cheese, butter, rye croutons are suitable as an incentive treat. Dandelion leaves, nettles, scalded with boiling water, kelp or ready-made vitamin complexes from a veterinary pharmacy can serve as a source of essential vitamins. Health and Diseases of the East Siberian Huskies The East Siberian Huskies are healthy dogs that do not have a predisposition to most hereditary ailments. The breed is not able to withstand only viral diseases, plague, enteritis and rabies, and it is working individuals that are most susceptible to them. Timely vaccination continues to be a salvation from the listed problems at 2-2.5 months, puppies are already allowed to be vaccinated against canine plague, a year, against rabies. How to choose a puppy if a puppy is purchased for hunting a specific animal, check with the seller about the success of the baby's parents in this matter. For example, for elk hunting it is better to take offspring from elk huskies and undesirable from orientalists who work strictly on squirrels. The hunting ability of males and bitches of the East Siberian Lyca is practically the same. However, males are more likely to get lost in the forest as they are distracted by the smells of flowing bitches, which may be several kilometers away. Accordingly, if you are not ready to spend hours, if not a day in search of a lost dog, choose girls. Opt for puppies from spring litters. These babies are healthier as they grow and develop during the warm sunny season. Check the age of the litter breeders. The breeding bitches of the East Siberian Lyca are ready for mating at one and a half years and males by two years. Offspring from two young parents, as well as from two old, have poor health. It is optimal when mature and old males, 6 to 10 years old, are mated with 3-year-old bitches and vice versa, young 2-year-old males are bred with 6 to 9-year-old huskies. Assess the general condition of the puppies. Sparse will, dry nose and signs of emerging ricket signal that it will take a long time to nurture such a baby. Price of the East Siberian Husky the average price tag for East Siberian Lyca puppies is $300 US dollars if we are talking about offspring from planned mating, with a package of documents, and from working parents with diplomas. The only caveat, you will literally have to hunt for the breed, since the main livestock of the East Siberian Lyca is concentrated in Siberia and the Far East, so get ready to ride in cities such as Irkutsk, Krasnoyarsk, Blagoveshchensk, 